The image displays waves on Lake Superior, with sand dunes and trees in the background. Above the photograph, the words Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore are displayed, along with the National Park Service arrowhead. A video of a female ranger leaning on a wooden railing with a large coastline and trees in the background. Hi there, I'm Ranger Christina, here on the shore of Lake Superior at Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. Today, we'll explore 10 reasons why Lake Superior is superior. Waves crashing on rocky beach. The number one appears. Ranger Christina sitting on a driftwood log on the shore of a large body of water. Lake Superior is the largest body of fresh water in the world by surface area. It's 31,700 square miles or 82,100 kilometers. That's about the size of the state of Maine. A map of the eastern half of the U.S. is shown with Maine and Lake Superior circled. Waves crashing on rocky beach. The number two appears. Ranger Christina sitting in the driver's seat of a white sedan with the National Park Service arrowhead on the door. If you stretch the coastline out, that would be like me driving this car from Boston, Massachusetts to Denver, Colorado. That's the equivalent of 1,826 miles or 2,938 kilometers. Let's go for a drive. A map of the entire U.S. slides over, showing a red line moving between Boston and Denver. Waves crashing on rocky beach. The number three appears. Ranger Christina standing on the shoreline with nothing but water on the horizon. The camera slowly pans until only Lake Superior is in frame. Lake Superior is the third largest lake in the world by volume. It's 2,900 cubic miles or 12,100 cubic kilometers. That's enough to cover all of North and South America in a foot or about 30 centimeters of water. A map of the world comes up. North and South America are highlighted in blue. Waves crashing on rocky beach. The number four appears. A video of large waves crashing on the shoreline and strong wind blowing trees. Large waves on Lake Superior are caused by groups of thunderstorms that change wind direction and air pressure around the lake. The tallest wave ever recorded was 28.8 feet or 8.77 meters. Waves crashing on rocky beach. The number five appears. Photo montage of shipwreck remains washed up on shores. Old and broken wood with nails jutting out of them. First image shows the shipwreck remains on the shore. Second image shows shipwreck remains during a sunset. Third image shows a wave crashing on shipwreck remains. Fourth image shows waterlogged shipwreck remains, and last image shows the flooded floorboards of the shipwreck. With waves like that, you can imagine there's a lot of shipwrecks. Lake Superior has claimed a total of 350 ships, and only about half have ever been found. Most shipwrecks can only be viewed by scuba diving or glass bottom boat, but when the water level is low, you can see three on our shores. When you visit, please be sure to leave the remains untouched and take only pictures. Waves crashing on rocky beach. The number six appears. Ranger Christina crouching on a rock. Waves crash on sandstone shelves in the background. Driftwood, a small waterfall, and trees are also in the background. The retention rate of Lake Superior is 191 years. So that means when I take this cup of water from the lake, I'm holding water that's been in there since before Michigan was even a state. Waves crashing on rocky beach. The number seven appears. Ranger Christina standing on a sandy beach with people kayaking in the background. Three empty kayaks remain on the beach. Lake Superior is the coldest Great Lake. Its average temperature is 40 degrees Fahrenheit or four degrees Celsius. It can be warmer along the shoreline during the summer, which is refreshing on a hot day, but not so great if you fall out of your kayak. Waves crashing on rocky beach. The number eight appears. A video of an underwater view of clear blue water and a rocky bottom. Lake Superior has been described as the most oligotrophic lake in the world because it's so nutrient poor. 
It still has plenty of nutrients to support the plants and animals that live in it though. This lack of nutrients keeps the water as clear as you see it here. Waves crashing on rocky beach. The number nine appears. Ranger Christina standing on a large sand dune with more dunes behind her that sit high above the lake. The Ojibwe people are Native Americans who have lived in the Great Lakes Basin since before the time of European settlement. In their language, Lake Superior is Gichigami, which translates to big water. Waves crashing on rocky beach. The number 10 appears. Ranger Christina sitting on a log with a table in front of her on the shore. On the table are 10 jars. Lake Superior contains 10% of all of Earth's fresh water. If these 10 jars here, full of water, represented all of the fresh water on Earth, then one full one, like this one here. Ranger Christina picks up a jar of water and shows it to the camera. Would represent Lake Superior. Waves crashing on rocky beach. Ranger Christina leaning on a wooden railing with a shoreline and trees in the background. Now you might be thinking, Lake Superior is called that because it's better than all the other lakes. But actually, it's called Superior because it's more north or above the other Great Lakes. Image of the Great Lakes from space. A yellow arrow points to Lake Superior. And now you know why Lake Superior is called Superior an archway in the cliffs with black and red mineral stains. The Great Lakes, especially Lake Superior, are a dynamic environment. Large waves crashing on a rock formation that looks like a castle. The landscape and shore change daily. You never know what you may find. A small cove with black mineral stains. Which is what keeps people coming back to Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore year after year. A sandstone cliff with black, white, and red mineral stains. What will you find on our shores or at our park. Ranger Christina leaning on a wooden railing with a large coastline and trees in the background. Text shows the website address. For more information, visit www.nps.gov slash P-I-R-O. See you soon. Ranger Christina waves at the camera. The Great Lakes Restoration logo appears next to a silhouette of the Great Lakes. Text reads, the National Park Service is a federal partner in the implementation of the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. For more information, visit www.glri.us or www.nps.gov slash rlc slash great lakes slash index dot htm. The National Park Service arrowhead comes up on a black background.